Welcome back to another episode of The Gentleman's Response. Due to the overwhelming success of the first episode, <sighs> looks like we're gonna have to keep making these. Thanks. Anyways, if you've never seen the show, just watch, you'll figure it out. Figured we'd start by sharing some of our favorite comments from the first episode. Angelina6969 Abel wrote, I would love to give you a blowjob. Call me. And that concludes some of our favorite comments from last week. Now we're gonna dive right into your stupid rant suggestions. Italian dude 000 suggests gentleman's rant on me, you fing asshole, prick, Jewish, stinky, queef, burping piece of shit. And the black man on the show looks like Morgan Freeman, bitch. Who knew the Italian guy was a loud, flashy, racist asshole? You probably drive a red convertible too, huh? You overcompensating small dick motherfucker. Adam Zop Zop suggests the science fair any grade. Even the sixth grade science fair is fixed. F you, Mr. Thompson. Gentlemen's rant, my nuts in your mouth. Couldn't very well speak with your nuts in my mouth now, could I? Gentlemen's rant. Pricks in front of a white background who are not funny. Yeah, f those assholes. Gentlemen's rant, beach. You want us to rant about a place that's warm, majestic, and littered with women and revealing swimwear that accent their perfect round titties and tight little asses? No, we're never gonna do that. There's no beach in the world that sucks, except for Long Beach. Gentlemen's rant, midlife crisis. You're gonna have one, and it's gonna be expensive, and the 26-year-old doesn't work out. The Gentleman's Rant Sopa and Pipa. It starts with the movie and music industry, then they come for your porn. Your free porn. There's one thing I'm willing to fight for, it's my right to watch a woman get covered in baby oil and plowed by six dudes anytime I want. And never have to pay a dime for it. Gentleman's Rants, poor mingle conversation. Your children's funny incident. What my neighbor said jokes. Weird mole you need to check out. Get that goddamn mole checked out. Could be malignant. Try Harder writes about the gym rant. Sh pure sh Go f yourself. See what we did there? Went right into another segment and you didn't even know what was happening. Trayvon, it's birthday, not birthday. Try again. Love your work though. Sure glad I'm getting diction tips from a 15 year old. There's guy, our douchebag. Kilpu, are you Russian by chance? You guys are a bunch of losers. You should all go f yourself and then have sloppy seconds. I would have to say the biggest dick of all in these videos has to be Will Stevens. You're not funny, Will. You're not funny. I'm Ed Productions. What exactly does your company produce? Just covered socks and sheets your mom has to wash twice a week? Christ, at least make an effort to not be so obvious that you're looking at a teleprompter. We shoot this show in front of a white background. You think we have money in the budget for a fucking teleprompter? You sucks white trash and a Negro mod f Alex, I'm betting you're Russian. I only view these videos to dislike them because you guys are all sh Finally, somebody said it. Uh. I'm becoming increasingly disappointed with the gentleman's rant. They're trying too hard to be funny now and it just isn't. Oh well, guess their time has come and gone. Really? You're giving up on us that fast? Seinfeld took a solid two seasons before it got really good. We've been doing this for four months. Anyways, follow on Twitter so you can leave Twitter questions. Follow all of us, there's four of us. Links in the description. Next to my penis. Mishmash333 asks, what's your guys' day jobs for real? I put the plastic tips on the end of shoelaces. I'm Jewish. <laughs> I f women, it's exhausting. I'm unemployed. Go figure. Like us on Facebook so you can ask Facebook questions. Ian Kroll asks, if your life was like a season of 24, what would happen? It'd probably get canceled. And now, we leave you with some of our favorite comments. Greg sounds like Owen Wilson. Who's Greg? When a whale ejaculates in the ocean, there's roughly 20 gallons of sperm. I was once covered in roughly 20 gallons of sperm. You should get a woman to do a rant. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Global warming is gay. Oh, so gay. <laughs> I love you. I really, really love you. All of you. Well, except for Roger. You look too much like my dad. Ashley Renee, you're grounded. I just shoved my huge utility pole into my girlfriend's junction box. Describe it in more detail, slowly. Was there a power outage? Was the electric company called? Was there a blackout? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the end of the show, guys. See you later. Remember, there's no prizes on this show. We don't have any extra money in the budget. Blew it all on the teleprompter. Anyways, remember to like, favorite, and blah, blah, blah this video. And now we're gonna cut to a screen with links to other videos that we've done, all playing to the same pleasant music in the background.